So if you're an XRP holder, I kind of want to just talk about something a little bit. We're not even going to go into Ripple's products like the Liquidity Hub coming out, XLS20 and NFTs come into the ledger, or even like CBDCs and Neutral Bridge Asset in the future. I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about ODL and the payment rails that XRP is being directly used for right now. For those of you who don't know, ODL, On Demand Liquidity, directly leverages XRP to exchange fiat from one country into fiat from another country using XRP as the exchange asset. So a lot of you know this already, but why is this important and what am I thinking about? Well, there's always a big talk in the XRP community about replacing SWIFT or working with SWIFT, but maybe we're actually closer than we think. Maybe actually XRP and Ripple are already competing with SWIFT. Hear me out here. Well, especially since America weaponized the dollar and we cut Russia out of the SWIFT system, we've seen a lot of talk about alternative payment systems such as like SIPS, which is like China's version of SWIFT with Russia. Also a lot of different payment systems coming from potentially the BRICS nations. I personally think in the immediate future, we're going to see a lot of different parallel payment channels where countries that don't trust each other's currencies are going to be using their own separate payment channels to pay different countries. Like you might see Russia pay China in rubles or in yuan or there's talk about gold backed stable coins, but whatever they use. And then obviously you might see G20 countries still using the dollar through the SWIFT system, at least for now. We've already got 25 countries transferring value from one place to another using the asset XRP. This is how many ODL corridors are currently set up and directly leveraging XRP with 125% quarter over quarter volume growth on the network and 8x over the year. It's only getting bigger at the minute, guys. So what happens if this is already happening right in front of our eyes? What happens when the market share becomes 100 corridors, 100 different countries? Then what happens? Do these countries start holding and using XRP to exchange across border rather than fiat currency? Because I think that would make logical sense. We've seen 44 countries go to El Salvador to talk about using Bitcoin. We've already got 25 using XRP. Why is this not being talked about? So we know it's no longer a pipe dream for cryptocurrencies to be recognized as legal tender. How long until something like XRP, which is providing value to 26 countries already, is recognized as legal tender in places? At least on a wholesale level, back-end level, country-to-country -country level. And on top of this, how long until a big country or a big payment network comes through and is like, okay, I want to buy out my competition? Just like Facebook did with Instagram and WhatsApp. And the Match Group did with Tinder and Bumble. You buy out your competition because it's a double win for you. What happens then? I think it's important to realise that a lot's happening with XRP and not a lot of people are talking about it because they don't like the asset. But that's why you should research and that shouts value to me.